let's talk about all these holes in the bottom of the skull. These are very important because your brain is encased inside the skull. Blood needs to get into the brain. Blood needs to get away from the brain back to the heart. And all of the cranial nerves need to exit the brain and get to the external skull to control the muscles, the skin, to uh, not control the skin, but receive sensation from the skin, receive sensation from the eyes and the ear and the nose and the tongue and all of those things. So that's what these holes are for. All right, so the foramen magnum is the big one. Its name means big hole. Foramen means hole. We also have this hypoglossal canal that travels this way under this occipital condyle. Okay, so the hypoglossal canal goes sideways. The hypoglossal nerve uh, originates on the brain stem and travels this way to the tongue, which sits right here. Okay, so that hypoglossal nerve is going to control the tongue. The carotid canal is where the carotid artery, the internal carotid artery, uh, brings oxygenated blood from the heart to the brain. And it's going to travel through this carotid canal. And the, the pathway of the carotid canal actually goes in and then kind of sideways and comes out in a different spot on the inside of the skull. So it's kind of confusing. But on the outside of the skull, this carotid canal is nice and round and very clear. Less clear is the jugular foramen, which you can barely see from this angle. If we were to tilt front of the skull, this the palate here more toward us, we would be able to see this one a little better. So the jugular foramen is actually an opening between the occipital bone and the temporal bone. And that's where the um, internal jugular vein exits the brain and takes blood back to the heart. So we have that there and here. I have a couple other views where you can see it a little better. Foramen lacerum or lacerum is between this one, the occipital bone, and this purple, which is all the sphenoid bone. We have some more nerves that travel through there. And then we have the foramen ovale here on the sphenoid bone. That one is, wait for it, oval shaped. And then the foramen spinosum here is closest to the styloid process, which is kind of spiny. Okay, so that's the foramen ovale and the foramen spinosum. Those are the holes you can see from the inferior skull that you need to know. There are a couple more that you can see from the uh, interior skull uh, that we'll get to later.